Hey team, welcome back to F45. Today we've got quarterbacks, and we've only done quarterbacks a couple times in this studio. So this is a workout that we're gonna see on a Friday. However, it's more of a hybrid, so you'll see cardio and strength, kind of a combination of both. And it's a workout that is based on football, American football. So you're gonna see some exercises based on offensive and defensive moves. I don't really understand football, I don't really care about football, but I do care about fitness. So I think it's fun that we, um, you know, we're doing something different. It's cool. I've always enjoyed quarterbacks every time we do it. In the studio, you guys face each other um, doing the exercises, so that's cool too. Anyway, today we've got Mackenzie over here with us. I haven't told them exactly what the timing is today, so I'm going to do that super quick. Just so you know, you're going to do 14 stations. They're looking at you, Ken's. 14 stations. You're going to work for 55 seconds. You're going to rest for 20, and you're going to do two sets. So you've got two pods only one lap per pod. So seven exercises in one pod, seven exercises in the other pod. That's how it's gonna go down. All right, so our first exercise, let's go ahead and demo it. Kenzie, it's looking really cute today. So we're gonna do a dumbbell bent over row, but I want you to do an underhand grip. So your palms are out. Notice that she hinges over, her back is nice and flat, keeping those elbows close to her body. She's pulling those shoulder blades together as those elbows come back and pull. Good. All right, next exercise, we're gonna use agility poles. If you don't have them, that's okay too. Just kind of uh, find some space or set up cones. Use shoes, I don't care, but you're gonna hustle around them, in and out of them, and then I want you to do 180 degree turns four times. So turn towards me, turn your back to me, turn towards me, turn your back to me, and then uh, hustle through those uh, poles again. All right, now we're gonna use a bench and you've got two dumbbells where you're gonna do a bench flat press. So you're flat on the bench, but you're gonna do a pulse and a half right there. So pulsing up, full press, and then come down for a half. Try to keep those elbows around 90 degrees and those feet on the ground. Pull that belly button into your spine to protect your low back. Don't pop your feet up on the bench or whatever you're using to support yourself. Use your core muscles to support it. All right, find a little box or something to put your foot up on. This is a cool one. You're gonna put one foot back you're gonna put one foot forward in a lunge position and I want you to pop off the ground. Yes, and that foot comes off the ground. Now you could, keeping that uh, back foot on the bench the whole time. You could put your back foot on the ground and do the same move. Can you show me that on the ground? So pop up, yeah, just get some air with that front foot. Yeah, push off. All right, now you're gonna come down to the ground. You've got a hamstring curl with slides. So if you're on carpet, use paper towel and put them under your heels. If you are on hardwood floor, use hand towels and pull your heels back to your glutes. You're raising those hips off the ground and keeping them off the ground the whole time. If you need to lower in between or alternate your legs like Kenzie's showing you, do that. All right, now you're gonna find something weighted. We're gonna use a Revo bar in the studio. You're gonna hold it across your chest and you're just gonna run in place. Run in place. So you don't want a lot of bounce crossing your arms over like that, you kind of press that bar into your um, chest. We'll hold that in place and just run, run, run for your life. Nice job. All right, so it says sandbag Romanian deadlift row. We're gonna say barbell row. So um, you're going to deadlift, so hinge, give me the row at the bottom and then the deadlift comes right there as you squeeze those glutes and hamstrings to stand. So working that back, working the whole posterior chain right here basically in that exercise, I love that. All right, so you're gonna do a balance trainer lunge jump going forward. So if you don't have a balance trainer at home, just do plyo lunges on the ground. So she's bringing her foot forward and popping her other foot back on the, I'm sorry, it'd be nice if you could see her, and popping her other foot back on the balance trainer. All right, now we're gonna use a ladder in the studio. Again, if you don't have a ladder, just find something that you can use for spacing, but you're gonna go double feet hopping in and out, all the way one direction. So hop those feet forward in, Hop them out and move your way laterally down the ladder. And then go back the other direction. So we're hopping in and out. And now we're going to the bike. If you don't have a bike at home, we're gonna do just high knees from a standing position. But if you do have a bike, go lighter tension and go more speed. It's 55 seconds. So I want you to get your heart rate up in this effort in this interval. All right, now you're gonna find a box, something that you can jump up on. This is where we're gonna go into a 90 degree with a jump, so listen to me. You're gonna hop up, and then I want you to turn 90 degrees to hop off, stay that same direction, hop back on. Yes, so you do the turn when you hop off the box. Hop on, do the turn, hop off, yeah, in the turn. 
All right, so moving your body in different directions, it's important. All right, now we've got a weighted Russian twist. So if you don't have anything weighted, just do a Russian twist. But you can grab something, laundry detergent, um, a dumbbell, a med ball if you have it. A little more challenge here is what Kenzie's doing with her feet popped off the floor and just rotating that ball side to side. All right, now we've got this cool move that I love to watch you guys do. It's a dynamic sprinter bound lateral movement. So that's when you're gonna pull one knee up and kind of drag the other foot along. Pull and drag, pull and drag, and then go the other way. The lateral movement is what I want you to see, or what I want to see you do. All right, next and final exercise in the group, you've got hand, you're gonna walk your hands in and walk your hands out. So it's basically an inchworm. I just don't want you to come all the way up to standing. So reach, walk your hands back to your feet, keep your legs straight, stop right there, and go back out. That's what we're gonna do. Walk them out, walk them in. Well done. All right, so we're gonna warm up before we get started. So find some space. If you haven't grabbed everything you need, you have 16 seconds to grab it and get ready. We have a lot of equipment in the studio here. But again, you don't have to use it, guys. Use what you've got. Make it work at home. All right. You ready, Kenzers? I'm ready. Kenzers is ready. You should be too. All right, let's go ahead and do a shuffle and punch low. So just shuffle and punch low. Yeah, we're starting gentle here. Now let's move those hips. It's light hip mobility. Just roll those hips around. What's James say? Around the town. Okay, I didn't know that. We're going to go into prisoner. She said that was a SpongeBob reference. Prisoner squats. So wide elbows. My kids didn't really get into SpongeBob, really, I don't think. Or I didn't. So squat. Yep. Wide elbows. Keeping those shoulders back. Now we're going to go to um, a a hamstring stretch and a low back stretch. So you're going to cross over, take hand to opposite foot and swing. Yep, stand bent over as you swing. You look like a windmill. All right, now let's go wide with those feet and go side to side, stretching through that inner thigh. Both of them, you have two inner thighs. Yeah, I know. Or groin, I could say groin, groin. All right, we're gonna come onto our back right here. Plant your heels on the ground, your arms on the ground, drop your knees side to side. Now this is a nice low back stretch right here. How's it going, Ryan? It's looking good though. It's, is it working? All right, we're gonna come up and do six mountain climbers, six toe taps. So choose what you wanna start with. Tap those toes, heel taps actually. And then come down six mountain climbers, nice. Kenzie's got those hands planted perfectly under her shoulders. I always say, if there were a female demo person like Corey G, it should be McKenzie. All right, we're going to come up to standing and we're going to pull our glutes. So I want you to just pull your heel. You're standing and I want you to pull that heel up. Pull that heel up. Yes. We don't, we've never done this one. We've never stretch, done a glute stretch prior to the workout. I like it. Let's go jumping jacks. That's going to get your heart rate up just a little bit, which is good. There we go. Five more seconds here. We're gonna do, do explosive heel clicks right here. Explosive heel clicks. So I want you to, yeah, she's cap, clapping those hands together as she clicks those heels together. Power. And now we've got jump John twists. Did you toot? <laughs> oh, I gotcha. I thought she tooted. It's fine. Everybody toots. All right, so we're gonna start with dumbbell bent over row and you're gonna give me an underhand grip. So that's really good to improve your grip strength. You're gonna feel that in your forearms more than typical, so be prepared for that. Five seconds, so have your weights in hand. You know I hate it when you're not ready at this point. And hinge over and let's go. 55 seconds of work right here, come on. Yeah, pulling those elbows back, keeping them close to your body. Nice flat back. Notice that she keeps her eyes just slightly ahead. Her, her head is not up. Kenzie, show them when their, their spine is out of neutral position. Ugh, put your head down. Yes, thank you for that gorgeous demonstration. I could take a line and draw a straight line with a pen from the top of her little ponytail all the way to her little, little booty. But ain't little team. 20 seconds, guys. There we go. Pull those shoulder blades together. Use the pulling of the shoulder blades to draw those elbows back. Changes the whole movement. Uh, yeah. There you go. 
and you've got three, two, and one. Take 20 seconds here to rest, but you're gonna do it again. We've got two sets, remember that team. I didn't forget, and I'm the coach. I've got you covered, team. You got five seconds, pick them up, friends, pick them up. And action, let's go. You're in a movie, and you're the star of the show. I'll keep working. Yes, weight in those heels, I love it. Tapping those little toes so that you know that that weight is back in those heels. If you're feeling any tension in your back, you can always reset, but also, I would say, when you're in that position, if you pull that butt back a little further and bring that upper body a little more parallel to the ground, you'll find that can help too. Can you try that, Kens? Pull your butt back, like I'm pulling you back, yeah. Now that's gonna take some tension off your back too because you just changed that position. 10 seconds, there we go. You got it, come on, pull. Choosing weights today that are challenging and rest, but that you can complete the entire interval with perfect form. All right, so now we're gonna go to the agility poles. You're gonna do lateral movement. So you're gonna stay facing forward as you go around. Maybe you're going around shoes or cones, but you come back and forward always facing me until we get to the end and you rotate 180 degree turn four times. So Kenzie, there we go. We're moving guys. There we go. Come all the way around. And now when you get to the end, I want you to turn your back to me. Turn forward, turn your back, turn forward. There we go, four times and go again. Yes, when you go around those poles, you're always facing your computer, your laptop, whatever you're using. Imagine that I can see you, but now I can't. When you get to the end, you look away, look back. If you need to pivot and turn instead of the hopping and turning, you can always take out the hop. Okay. 20 more seconds here, guys. Come on. There we go. There she goes. Be an athlete right here, guys. It's a shuffle around those cones. Don't hit the poles or whatever. Don't trip over your shoes. Whatever you're using to go around. You have five seconds. And you have three, two, and one. Rest. We're going to do this set again. Ryan, are you going to join her? You can follow her. through the. Okay, I have Ryan cleaning the walls for you guys, my daughter. She'd rather work out than clean the walls, and she hates working out. This is so interesting. All right, team, get ready. You've got three, two, and one. Come on. Just follow her through. There we go. Good. Follow her back through. Come on. Look like an athlete. You got it, turn, back. Light on your feet. When you're landing in those four turns, I don't want you uh, straightening out your joints. I want you landing softly with bent knees, absorbing the energy from the jump gently. Good job, there we go. Turn. <laughs> this is great team. I would love to know what yours looks like at home. Does it look like this? 20 seconds. Two completely different athletes, but both athletes. Come on, come forward. Quick feet, Ryan, quick feet. You got 10 seconds. Give me those turns back and forward. And now back through, facing me the whole time. You've got three, two, and one. Well done, guys. All right, we're gonna go to the bench and do a flat press. So you need dumbbells. You're gonna do one and a half pulses. Ryan, you can do it right off the ground. So grab dumbbells, or you can use the laundry detergent. Yep, you can do that. Ryan's gonna do our um, options, like what you might be doing at home. You have three seconds, you have two, and you have one. Let's go. Press it all the way up, come down, and then give me a half a pulse right there. And press. Half a pulse and press. Good. Half a pulse. Yeah, pulse at the bottom. It's gonna create more tension, make it a little more challenging to give that full press. Notice that Kenzie is working really hard to keep her belly button pulled into her spine. What are you using to do that? Her abs, her core. She is not pulling her feet up on the bench and not allowing her abs not to work. She's giving them an opportunity to do their job. If it's hurting your low back, concentrate on that, on pulling your back and pressing it into that bench, using your abs to do it. You got it, guys. Come on, 10 more seconds here. Think about your chest as you press those weights up. Use your pecs 
those chest muscles to press. And you've got three, two, and one. Rest, we're gonna do one more set, so stay where you are. Yeah, yeah, 10 seconds here. All right, friends, five seconds to go, so you should have your weights in your hand. You should be in position because your interval starts now. 55 seconds of work. That is less than a minute. All right, so when you, I want you to control those weights. When you bring them down right, I want your elbows to only come about 90 degrees. Don't let your elbows come down all the way to the ground. Come right there and pulse and all the way up. Come to 90 degrees, pulse and up. Good, it's better. It's hard to um, maneuver the laundry detergent. It's floppy because of the liquid in there, so it creates more of a challenge in a different way. Where Kenzie's using heavier weight, and that's how she's getting her challenge. It's amazing. Both of them amazing. Come on, friends. Let's go 15 more seconds here. And make sure you're using your breathing. Where are you exhaling? As you press those weights, yes, at the top. Press them out. Exhale. You have three, two, and one. All right, we're going to find that, that small box that you're going to put your foot up on, and you're going to do that lunge with a hop. So, Ryan, you might want to get that stuff out of the way since you're done with it. You don't want... We hustle in here because you have five seconds. So you need that small box. You guys can use the same box, probably, or just do it off the ground. So Ryan, I want you to stay on one foot and I want you to push that foot so you get air off that front foot. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Okay, so I love how Kenzie's using your arms. Nope, we're gonna do two, two sets. So stay on the same leg the whole set. Yeah, boom. So you're dropping that back knee. That foot is elevated, but you still wanna see that knee come right under that hip. I see that with Kenzie. And you want that front knee tracking over that toe, but not coming over it. So if that knee crosses in front of that toe, you need a little wider stance there. We're doing well here. And get power. If you need to lose the hop, if you can't get your leg off the ground, just come up with force, with power. You have five seconds, come on. Show me something. Three, two, and one. That one's tough. Yeah, we're gonna switch legs here. Did you enjoy that? Kenzie said that was harder than she thought. You may be experiencing that at home as well. That's okay. You know what I say? If it were easy, we'd be mad about it. All right, you've got three, two, let's go. You switch sides. So you're dropping that back knee and you're powering straight up into the air. If you cannot get that front foot off the ground and get the air, okay, just drop and come up with power. Boom. You don't have to get air. Try to leave your back foot on the ground, Ryan, and just pop that front leg off. You got it. Here. Push off. Push off with that front foot and rely on that back leg to support you as you power back. Boom. Yeah. Push off with that front foot. Kenzie's pushing off with her front foot to power herself straight up in the air. You have 10 seconds, come on. Feel the burn, guys. You got it. And three, two, and one. Rest right here. You're gonna do the uh, slides with the hamstring curl. So we need two slides. You guys can go side by side. what you're using at home for this and let's go 55 seconds right here extend your legs your butt stays off the ground the whole time hips raised if you can do that you pull them back you extend them all the way forward you might be using a hand towel you might be using paper towels depends on what surface you've got at home if you need to just do hip thrusters do that maybe add challenge by um, putting weight on your hips if that's what you have to do at home your hands are right out to the side for support. If you want more of a challenge, flip those palms up. Hey, I knew Kenzie would do that. 20 seconds to go. There we go. Extend those legs and pull them back. If you need to go alternating where you take one leg out at a time, you can do that. You have 10 seconds. Come on. Squeeze your booty. 
Feeling that in your glutes? Feeling your hamstrings? You've got three, two, and one. Rest, we're gonna do it again. I love this exercise. I feel like they're whispering to each other and I sense that they may be talking about me. I'm not quite sure. And I don't really care. All right, guys, you have five seconds. You have three, two, let's go. Come on. You tell yourself, this is less than a minute. I can do this. There we go. So Kenzie's showing you what that looks like to alternate and go one side at a time. One leg extends while you pull the other leg back. Good job. Come on, friends. Consistent movement here. If you need to put those palms flat on the ground for support, do it. If you want those palms up, it's a little more of a challenge. Good, keep those hips raised. If you feel like they're lowering, concentrate and raise them up a little higher. You got it, 10 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. You've got this team, five seconds. Let's go, let's go. Three, two, and one. Beautiful job, that was hard, I felt that. You've got a Revo running in place. So you're gonna hold a bar across your chest, find something at home. You can even hold a dumbbell at your chest, but something that's not gonna bounce up in your face. We like your face, team, we like it. All right, we're gonna use a PVC pipe and a Revo bar, hold it right there and go! 55 seconds, right here. The stripe on your pants looks so funny, Ryan, when you move your legs. <laughs> Come on. So Ryan, you can hold it like this and press it. That'll keep it in place better. Yeah, you look like you have more control over it. That's good. Kenzie's standing from the side and showing you how we have good posture. Her shoulders are right over her hips. When she plants that foot on the ground, those hips are right over that knee, those knees right over those ankles. Pull, pull, pull. Running, running, running for your life. Yeah, that bar loaded at the, the, the chest is not pulling them over, they're keeping that chest back. So they're working their core to keep that buddy, body upright. Their buddy body. Five seconds, come on. You've got three. Two and one. Let's do it one more time and then you're done with this exercise. Yep, yep. I like quarterbacks. Kenzie said she does too. It's the opposite of what she said. But she kills it every time. All right, here we go. You've got three, two, and one. Let's go, my friends. Running in place. What's that look like? Looks like that. Good. Hold that bar up on that chest. Get that bar across your uh, clavicle. There, yes. You press that. Don't let that drop onto your bosom. <laughs> there we go. Job. Yeah, they're using the rhythm of the music. Whatever works for you guys, find a beat. Maybe you've got a mantra going in your head. Can't stop, won't stop. I find myself using that all the time. Can't stop, won't stop. And you just work to the beat of whatever that is in your head. You can do it. You've got three, two, and one. You did that. This is your last exercise in this pod. We will do the um, barbell deadlift with a row, and then you will get a hydration break, and you're done with these exercises in pod number one. So grab a bar, Ryan. Grab um, the red bar. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Ryan's getting ready, but Kenzie's going. You've got a deadlift. You're going. Come on. And when you're in the hinged over position, you give me that row. And then stand all the way back up. Row and stand. Good. Hinge over, back nice and flat. Keep those elbows close. Pull them back. What, what's going on? Oh, Ryan got hot. She's going to take off her sweatshirt. It's fine. All right, good. So notice Kenzie's back nice and flat. She hinges over, keeps that bar close to her legs, sticks that booty back, her knees are soft. She feels that tension in those hamstrings and she uses her glutes and hamstrings to come up to standing. There we go, there's Ryan. She lowers that bar. You know how I like to say it's like you're shaving your legs. And then give me that row in the hinge, boom. Yes, and stand. So you're working that back right here. 
And now we're working that lower body. So your entire posterior chain, work it and rest. Nice. One more set and you're done with this one. We love deadlifts up in the F45. It's functional movement, guys. When my knees hurt, I'm grateful for deadlifts because when I have to pick things up off the floor, I use a deadlift to do it when I can't squat. Uh-huh. You got three, two, and one. Let's go. There we go. Good. Hinge, pull, and stand. Nice. Drop that bar back down, fully extended. Good, use your back. Now squeeze your butt and your hamstrings right there. Thrusting those hips forward. Your posture's really good, both of you. Yeah. Ryan, I wanna see you hinge over just a little bit more. Bring that upper body a little more parallel to the floor. Yes, that made my day. Now, you had to work a little harder in the deadlift, right? You had more body to pull up. Oh! Oh my gosh! It was so great. That is so gonna prepare you for California. Yep. 12 seconds. There we go, nice. I love how Kenzie's facing us. I can see that her shoulders are squared to that ground as she pulls that bar back. You have three, two, and one. You get a hydration break, team. You get a full minute to catch your breath, get a drink, and gear up for pod number two. The exercises we just did, you're done with those. Kenzie is very good about cleaning up the studio. She does not like the mess. Notice too that we've got our grids on the ground for when you get back in the studio on Monday. That's only th two days from now. And that's gonna um, be how we move around the room, square by square. So you're over the halfway point of your recovery, so gear up. You are going to start with, you're gonna need the balance trainer, and that's where we're gonna do the lunge jump forward. If you don't have a balance trainer, you're just going to just do plyo lunges or forward lunges without the hop. But make sure you're giving me the forward movement in this exercise. If you're not using the hop, you're stepping forward. All right, here we go. You got three, two, and one. All right, Ryan doing it without the balance trainer. So she's just doing plyo lunges, powering straight up in the air, switching her legs, and landing with that knee right under her hip. Good. 90 degrees with those knees-ish. It's what we're looking for. Kenzie using that balance trainer, so she's pushing off with that front foot, switching her foot in the back as she plants that toe up on the balance trainer. Nice. Push straight up in the air, boom, and land right back on. So she could lose the hop and she could just step back and plant that foot. Yeah, Ryan could do that too. Actually, with you, Ryan, I want you to, can you step forward? Lunge and back, yeah. I wanna see more forward movement. You got five, three, two, and one. Nice job. If you have something at home that you can hang on to, if you need that support, you could grab like a column in your house, a pole, um, even like the door frame. You could hold that as you're doing lunges. And if you have a suspension trainer, you can hold on to those handles too. All right, we're gonna do this one more set and then you're done with this exercise. So Kenzie, turn into the side and let's go. 55 seconds here, good. So she's showing us how she's keeping that chest up too. Honestly, I can see Ryan, how she's doing that also. Good. I like that you have your hands on your uh, waist. It's probably helping you from hinging over, good. And Kenzie using her arms to power herself in that straight up movement. She pushes off and switches, good. Come on guys, less than 30 seconds to go here. And now we are over the halfway point. Good. Ryan is losing the hop and simply stepping forward. That's a good move. I want you to really concentrate keeping those feet hip width apart as you step forward. Good. All right, 10 final seconds. Find that inner fire. Know that the finish line is just ahead and finish this interval strong. You got it. You've got three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna use the ladder and we're gonna jump with both feet in and both feet out. So you can follow Kenzie, like, you know, like you did. On the first one. All right, you got five seconds to gear up. And here we go, let's go. 55 seconds right here. Both feet go in, both feet come out. So if you are don't have a ladder at home, 
just find some space. I need that lateral movement from you. So I want you to, oh, that was good, Kins. I want you to, um, I don't know, find about 10 feet of space, 15 feet of space, where you can hop your feet forward, hop them back, and also propel your body down the line. There you go. Oh, look, that's cute. There we go. That's right. It's okay that they're breathing on each other. They've been together quite a lot. All right, 15 seconds. Come on, keep hopping. You should feel your heart rate up on this one. Are you feeling that? A little more breathless? Good. Make sure you're controlling your breathing. You got three, two, and one. Rest. We're going to do it again. So what if jumping is hard on your body? What could you do? Ryan, show me. Step in and out. Yes, but keep giving me that lateral movement. Good. So stepping in instead of hopping. You got five seconds to gear up. And let's go. 55 seconds right here. Come on. Hop or stepping in and out. You got it. Kenzie's showing you that option. Cabs looking good. I see that. Tails popping in here. There we go. In, out, in, out. So getting that forward and back movement and also that lateral side to side movement. A lot of direction. It's good. I tell you all the time, you want your body to be able to move in multiple directions. All right, less than 10 seconds. So if you were doing the hop and you lost the hop, bring the hop back. Bring it back, Ryan. You got three, two, and one, you are done with that, nice job. All right, now we're gonna go to the bike. It's a seated bike, so it's more about speed, but if you are not, if you don't have a bike at home, you're just gonna do high knees right where you are. She does her dance moves. All right, here we go, and action. All right, so here's what I wanna to talk to you about on the bike. A lot of times when we're in the studio, I say, on a longer interval like this, I want you to make it, Ryan's just hopping around the studio. Um, a lot of times we say on a longer interval that we want you to make this more about speed and really get that heart rate up, so less tension. However, if I come up to you, sometimes I feel like you could tell me your whole life story during this interval. And if you can, then that is not challenging enough for you. So you have to make adjustments. If you need to add more tension, add it. Do whatever you need to do to make this harder. If you need to come up out of the saddle, if more of if a hill climb gets your heart rate up, do that. I want you to be uncomfortable and breathless in this interval. Yeah? She's breathing heavy over there. Less than 10 seconds. Where's our hopper? Let's find her. She's over here. Oh, wow. Get it, girl. You've got three, two, and one. She was doing the option. You guys have one more set here. Yeah, buddy. All right, 10 seconds to catch your breath. We're going to do it again. So remember everything I said. Work at an eight, at least an eight out of 10 effort. And action. And so I'm going to talk about that a little bit as you get going. An eight out of 10 effort, what the heck does that look like? We all have our effort scale, one out of 10. One is how you feel when you're laying in your bed. It's completely relaxed and not challenged at all. A 10 is the hardest thing that you will do all day. So an eight, you better be uncomfortable. You wanna be breathless. Again, if I walked up to Ryan right now and I said, hey, what are you gonna do the rest of the day? And if she could tell me in lots of words what she could do, I need her to pick up the pace. Maybe move a little faster in those high knees that she's doing. And Kenzie maybe has to add some tension or her cadence quickens. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Whatever you gotta do, you create that eight out of 10. You create that uncomfortable feeling. It's what we do in here get uncomfortable and we are cool with that. You got five seconds, friends. And three, two, and one. I loved that, that was good. All right, I saw the hard work. Okay, we're gonna do soft box jump with that 90 degree turn. So we're going to, Ryan, you can use this one. Just move that water and pull it over towards you. So remember, you're gonna hop up on the box and when you hop off, you're gonna turn a half turn off the box. All right, here we go, we're in it. Kenzie hops on, now take a turn and hop off. 
And now hop back on that same direction. No, Ryan. There we go. Okay, now hop on that same direction. Now take a turn and hop off at an angle. All right, now hop on. Hop off that way. Going around the world. Hop back on. Now hop off and turn as you hop off. Hop back on. Turn. Yeah, we got it. Look at these students. These smart athletes in this room. You got it, team. Come on. So, Kenzie using a more challenging, higher box. And Ryan using a shorter box. So use what you've got at home, but make sure it's safe and sturdy. There we go. Again, directional movement, think about it. You want your body to be ready for anything in your day. You got five seconds and rest. Let's do it one more time. That was good. You could also step up on, you could do a step up instead of a hop up. You feel me on that? Yeah, okay. Use options, you have five seconds. All right team, let's go, three. Two and one, 55 seconds right here. Hop up and hop off with a turn. Hop off, yeah, now you got it. We're not turning at the top of the box. We're turning during the hop off. Yeah, they got, they're so good. Or maybe you're pivoting and stepping down without the hop, that's cool too. Come on. You pull those knees up and you land gently so that you're not locking out your knees. Yeah, that was good. We absorb the energy gently when we hop, jump, skip, all that. It's good guys, come on. 10 seconds, they're using those arms to power their body. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> you got three, two, and one, good, you are done with that, guys. We're going to do the Russian twist. So if you have something that you can use for weight, Ryan, you can hold the laundry detergent. Kenzie's gonna use the med ball. Grab some laundry detergent, you wanna rotate. Add a little challenge there. Not the one with the hole in the lid. Okay, good. We've broken some things. You got three, two, and one, let's go. All right, so they're both taking that challenge where they've got their heels off the ground. But if you need to plant your heels on the ground for more stability, that's a good option. Ryan's losing the weight, she doesn't want it. And that's also an option if you need it. Exhale every time you rotate. It's challenging your balance and that's okay. There you go, nice. So Kenzie's leaning back, but that back is nice and flat. Good, strong posture here. Both of them, good. Rotate, rotate. It's a twist. 10 seconds, guys, come on. You got it. You've got three, two, and one. Nice work. One more set. We wanna work that core. We wanna work that whole core into those obliques. We're gonna shape that waist, guys. Hourglass figures. Five seconds. Come on, pick up your weight and action. We're trying to win an Oscar here, ladies. Here we go. Don't forget to breathe. Follow whatever you're using with your eyes. Whatever you're placing on the side of your body, follow it with your eyes. Yeah, that just increased your rotation, Ryan. That was good. You got it, you got it. Kenzie is in the zone. Come on, friends, 20 more seconds here. That's all you got. And then you are done with this exercise. Breathe through it, breathe through it, make it work. Put your heels on the ground and just keep going. We never stop, we just use options. You've got plenty of them. You only have five seconds left here. Keep it going. You've got three, two, and one. Two exercises to go. We're gonna go with that sprinter bound lateral movement where you pull your knee up and kind of pull your other leg along beside you. There we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, Kens, will you show them this one real quick? Pull it up and drag, up and drag. Here we go, let's go. Now we're in it. 
It's kind of weird. You get into the move of it, yep. So just pull one knee up high and drag that other leg along with you. The leg that you're pulling up determines the direction you're going. There you go. Pull and then switch sides. So the direction you're going, that outside leg, that's the leg you pull up high. Here we go, come on. Use your arms. The lateral movement's what I wanna see, so I want your toes facing forward. They're both doing that. Oh, that knee is wanky, right? <laughs> it's those pants, too, it's hilarious, the stripes on these pants. 10 seconds, come on, pull it and drag it. There we go. You've got three, two, and one. You look like, you all look like cloggers. Oh, the pony. Okay, we're doing the pony. That's what we're doing, but we're moving laterally in the pony and, and clogging. All right, we're gonna do the pony again. You got three, two, and one. Come on. Pony. There it is. That's cute. You gotta get some distance in your lateral move. Again, keep those toes pointed forward, your hips pointed forward, your whole body is pointed forward. You're stepping away. Yes, good. 30 seconds to go. They're taking about seven, eight steps one direction and then switching sides. Good. Come on. 15 seconds. Use your arms to power your move. Find a little enthusiasm here for the last Woo! 10 seconds. Yes. Come up. Pony up. You got three, two, and one. Nice job. You have one more, or yeah, one more exercise, two sets, and then you're done with this today, guys. How did that happen? This flew by. We're going to do the hands. Uh, the inchworm basically, but we're not going to stand up in between. So you are going to walk towards me with your hands, keep your legs straight and walk it back and just keep going and action. 55 seconds. Take your hands to your feet. Walk it out, walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. And now walk it back, walk it back, walk it back. When you get your hands to your feet, change your mind and come back out. There we go. So your head is lowered this whole time until you're out in that plank position. Don't stand all the way up. We just want to keep our body moving. Again, you feel that stretch through your hamstrings as you come up. It's almost like you're backing it up in a downward dog. And then you change your mind and you walk it out again. Good. As far as you can walk it out, everybody's range of motion is different in that move. And that's okay. Here we go. Come on, guys. Free through it. Let me tell you, you got 10 seconds. How fast can you walk in and out right here? I wanna see you pick up the pace. Come on, come on, Ryan. Get it all the way out. I want you to get it all the way back in, in three, two, and one. That was nice. Now stand up here for a second. Catch your breath, shake it out. This is how we're gonna finish, guys. guest that's gonna come in hop in and help you do these inchworms there we go come on hands all the way out Ella you don't even have to do the push-up walk your hands back stop don't come all the way up let's go don't even yes she's so coachable she's a freaking high school athlete you can tell come on come on walk it out and walk it back 30 final seconds come on straighten those legs keep them straight how far can you walk it out this is great Come on, come on, 20 more seconds. Now I want you to stay steady here. The last 10 seconds, you know what I'm gonna ask you to do. You pick up that pace right here. 10 final seconds, let's go. How fast can you walk it out? Boom, how fast can you walk it back? Stay low and walk it back out, come on. You've got three, two, and one. Yes, Ella is so glad she just came to the door. That's my niece team. You recognize her as one of our members and she is, my niece. So good job, Ryan. Good job, Kenzie. Good job at home. Guys, well done. That was quarterbacks. We haven't seen that one for a while. So um, good workout today. 
have a good weekend. Today is Friday, two more days. Saturday, you've got Sunday, and then Monday, back in this studio. If you haven't signed up for your classes, get in there. We've got some spaces left. We've added some more class times um, to allow for uh, the smaller class sizes, and we're doing everything we can to make this it a safe and awesome environment for you, and make sure you get a good workout. So, we'll see you soon. Good job.